You know, conservation in the sport of bass fishing is everything. Uh, you know, back, back uh, in the early days of tournament fishing, they brought them in on a stringer and filleted them. Things have changed. Uh, Ray Scott kind of founded that, got catch and release started, and uh, what an amazing sport where we can go out and catch the fish, bring them in, weigh them in, and then they take them out with live release boats and, and let the fish go, and, and uh, you know, people catch them again. Uh, even right here at Toledo Bend, there's been a fish over 10 pounds that's tagged. He's been caught three different times, so that just tells you catch and release works. So, and you know, the, the biggest importance is for our kids. I mean, you know, we get to catch them now, but uh, you know, it, with catch and release, the kids are going to get to catch them in the future as well. So here we are, we're in Toledo Bend, and as you can tell, I'm holding a bag of bass. This is not my weigh-in bag of bass, but uh, what I've got here is I've got a bass full of, uh, these are Florida strain bass uh, fry, and the Depart uh, Louisiana Department of Fisheries and the Sabine River Authority have teamed up, and uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to take these bass fry out to good, safe places around the lake to disperse the, the fish, and uh, hopefully these things will grow up to be my winning bag of fish uh, in the future. So I'm really excited. Time we're going to take the wife and kids out there and just go for a nice boat ride. It's a beautiful day, and uh, who knows, maybe these will be the, the next generation of bass at Toledo Bend. It's all about conservation and giving back. They've put in over 800,000 fingerlings a year into the lake to uh, make it even bigger and better. So uh, let's go do our part. Looks like a good area. You know, right here is perfect. It's flooded back in here. Gives these bass fry the most optimal conditions for them to uh, survive. We got uh, this hay grass and all kinds of flooded bushes, so there's probably all kinds of little critters for these uh, bass fry to eat. So this will be a good uh, place to let them go, and hopefully they'll grow big. And next time we come back, I'll be able to catch some giant bass back here. Have a good life, little bass. All right, let's. Uh, do this slowly but surely, and aren't those cool? Look at them. Look at those little guys. See those little bass? There you go. Yep, all right. You ready? So there they go. Look at them. See, they got all kinds of places they can hide. They can get up under these mats and you can see all those little teeny bugs and stuff in the water, so hopefully uh, hopefully a few of those will grow up and become uh, big bass and continue to have more and more little big bass. All right.